All right, what you see here is a Hampton Bay Huntington 2 ceiling fan in the gloss black finish. Got this fan I saved was a few months ago for a pretty good deal. I got it for like $10 with my employee discount. And when I saw it, I knew I had to get it immediately because these are, or well, this fan and this specific finish is actually a very big childhood fan for me. Since, as you guys might remember, earlier oh, to see I did a re upload of a Hampton Bay Huntington 2 that was just like this that I tested many years ago at a hair salon that's fortunately no longer in business. They had moved to a different location, but once they moved to a different location, the, the business started going down. I guess I'm I guess they, I'm not sure why, but um, yeah, they had left the Huntington 2 there when they moved to a new place, and that new place had a Hampton Bay Princeton in, a, in white and polished brass and a Hampton Bay Huntington 1. The later version in the Verde finish, however, I guess when the capacitor was burnt out and it since it didn't work at any of the speeds, and they, that fan got replaced with a light kit with a, one of those flush lights. And the, the Princeton's no longer there because the place is completely, the place closed down, they're renovating, the whole, they gutted the whole entire place. So I'm guessing they're making it into apartments or something, I'm not sure. But yeah, um, I was more upset about this one being, the Huntington 2 being gone, if anything, because that one. I had a lot of memories worth seeing next to the diner I'd go to a lot as a kid. That The one that has two hands to be quick connects and the white finish. Now, originally they had, um, I'm not sure what they were. To this day, I have no clue what they were. But um, they were, they might have been 42 inch fans and not 52 inch ones. But they were two polished brass fans with, um, and um, had, they had schoolhouse lights. They were polished brass. They had Panama vents. I don't remember if they... I think they had filigree side vents as well. And they had stencil blades. Though, something I do remember is that they had those Walmart-type pull chains. Like the ones from the Vitex Vortex that I have. The rainbow one. So they might have been Walmart fans, actually. Who knows? But... Um, I do have a p cutout of one of them. Like a picture that I developed and I cut out. Unfortunately, a memory card I had... Of those two fans are is long gone, so, but that's the only thing I have still of it. So, um, I know like I did a video of like those fan cutouts from years ago. If I I think I know I showed it in like one of those, vid, at one of the seconds in that video. I'll post it in the description link once I figure out which what time frame it was at. But um, yeah, back to this fan. Um, what happened with the one that was left behind was a, you know, more one. As for those who remember, the blades were very droopy on it. So much that I'm not, I'm surprised that the um the blade arms weren't hitting the light shades on it. And as you can see, this one it's not like that because I got this fan brand new in the box. And um, the new people that moved into the place they removed the um the drop ceiling that was on it, and they just threw out the fan. But also they. The fan actually was even installed in a safe manner, so they figured that the fan wasn't very really usable in that condition it's in, which, you know, honestly, I don't blame them for getting rid of it because the fan did have really droopy blades. Although I just wish I was there to have saved it from being thrown out since it was a childhood fan. But um, they also just didn't like how it looked like that, which I agree, it's not that appealing either. But, um, yeah, I have my own one now, and um, there were some two other places I've seen these as a kid. Um, well, I think there might be a, more, but um, my um, one of my mom's friends, well, or cousins of my friends, I ended up becoming my mom's friends too. They had um a two of well, they had this and a Hampton Bay Huntington three, in a dual install. Though the Huntington three had a rosewood blades, which I do have a video of. Um, unfortunately, they moved out of that apartment. And they're living in another place now, so they left that 103 behind. But um, they had one of these installed, and they removed it to put a chandelier in the dining room. So it was no longer a dual install. And it turns out um, she just wanted to have a more nicer light in the dining room. It was nothing wrong with the fan. And I'm sure, we, years later, she actually offered the fan up to me when we actually moved to this apartment. She was telling me how she actually still had it in the basement. But um, what had happened was somebody, I guess, cleared out the whole basement. I guess the owner of the building itself, they just cleared out everything and took the fan with them. So I'm not sure what happened if they 
threw it out or if they just took it for themselves or something like that. But um, everything that basically got cleared out, so Fan wasn't able to be in my possession, unfortunately. But um, I got my own one now, so and brand new in the box, so that's even better. And uh, and you got to play to someone in these was as a kid is um one of my dad's friends who lives up in in Hampton Beach, New Hampshire. Um, you guys actually might remember this if you've been watching the channel for a while. It's the old slideshow videos of the fan photos. It's the last one I did where it had a Hampton Bay Camera 2 Plus with the unique bowl type light on the bottom. It had one of these at the end of the slideshows and a Hampton Bay Carriage House in white and polished brass. Um, those fans are probably still there to this day. I have no clue. But um, I just, that was the first and only time I've been there. So uh, next time we're up in the area, I might ask my dad so you can stop by and see if I can get videos of them. But, um, yeah, they were, I took a quick picture of that one. Um, it was in a, the bed, my dad's friend's bedroom, and the blades weren't droopy looking on it. Though I do remember it looked like it was not installed properly. But, um, yeah, let's throw it up close. Now, these blades, I thought they were, like, painted black, but they, I mean, they are, but they're, like, very dry paint, so, like, if I was to, like, it's, like, matte, it's not, like, a shinier, like, blackish paint, it's, like, a very chalkboardy feel to it, I guess, as you can see, there's already some specks of dust that caught onto it just from running, but, um, yeah, the fan, I have no clue what year it's from, it's either from 1998, 1999, or 2000. Um, because the U.O. listing on the top doesn't specify a date on it, but I know those were the three years that these were sold. But, um, yeah, let me go ahead and show up the light. And it does have two empty pole chains and metal ones. And it's the first time I've actually seen a fan come with an antique brass pole chain on it, so at least it won't look bad over the years. And, um, it has those type of lights, so I'll shock the lights a bit, where the shades are tied by the two metal things. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but I mean, if they don't lose it that much over time, then I guess. I just don't like putting them on. That's just my thing. I'm afraid of it, like, shattering it. Definitely gives off good lighting. Let me shut off the two lights behind me. I'm using two of them because the fan's completely black, so it blends in a lot more, the ceiling. So I think I'd use two of the lights behind me so it shows up better. Yeah, it definitely gives off good lighting. Alright. <clears throat> and I do apologize for the long intro. Just had quite a bit of history of these. But, um, yeah, here's a low speed. That is the main reason why I do the known commentary videos, but... If, someone's, if someone wants to post in the, mid, in the bottom... In the um, description, the comments, what time I the video actually starts, where the fans are operating, feel free to do so. I just do the regular commentary ones like this for like those who are interested in like my history of certain fans and such. But um, yeah. Um, there was a Verde one that I've actually quite have a little bit of history of the Verde ones in the Huntington Twos. Um, but I'll save that for like another video, I guess. Well, the more in depth one, but. There's that flower shop that I filmed on that, which I'm actually think that the fan actually ended up getting replaced. Um, I haven't seen the owner since, so I gotta ask what happens. I know I, I'm pretty sure I left my number, but unless she lost it and couldn't contact me about it, maybe she has it stored away. But I think they had a like one of those bronze um, Hampton Bay Clarkson's place, but the blades on that fan were so droopy, so I don't blame them for replacing it. But hopefully, they still held on to it. But if not, I do have another one that, I'm, that I can get anyways. Well, I am probably going to get at some point. Not revealing how, but definitely stay tuned for that. But, and there was a, um, it was that place right below where the Hunter original with the reverse type, air type braid arms, the polished brass one, with the green white kit, and the two Newtone Pro lines, um, right below there, there were three of Hunter three twos on in um verde finish and they replaced them back in like 2009 because apparently they weren't even by the new owners of the place i guess and i always found it a very interesting because 
Those, it, that was a, that, when I saw that one and you went from the salon, those were the first time I saw Huntington's were three whites. So I was always questioning how come they had three whites instead of four. Well, when I saw those ones, the Verde ones there, I was questioning because that, that was the first time I ever seen the Verde Huntington's in person, but they were three whites. So it, was, it kind of threw me off since I never saw, saw the Huntington 2 sold at Home Depot since the first time I went was in 2001. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> but, yeah, that was, that's basically my childhood experience with Huntington 2s. I saw quite a bit of Huntington 3s, but um, the 2s are more sentimental for me in, in a sense. Since I never really saw them too much growing up. Or, like, they were, like, one, one of the first Hands Bay fans I remember seeing out in public. You know, it was like one of the really early fans I remember seeing while I was getting into fans. So they are, in a sense, more sentimental to me for that reason. You know, they are basically the same thing. I kind of like the look of the two a little bit more for the three whites. I don't know. I kind of like the three white look on certain fans and the four white look. And I and on this fan specifically, I kind of like the three white look a little bit better. But again, it does depend on the look of the fan. <clears throat> it's having a little bit, but it's not. I I know some fans tend to have more of it on the lower speeds and then the quiet on the higher speeds. Hopefully, that's the case with this one. Yeah, it definitely seems to be the case with this one. All right, now for medium. Now, something that's actually interesting with this one that I forgot to mention earlier in the video, video is. Instead of having rosewood blades in the opposite, on the reverse side of the blades, it's actually just plain oak. So that is actually pretty interesting. I've never seen that combination before. Definitely gives it more of a 90s look, I think. Oh, well, it seems more like a 90s combination, if anything. But, um... I obviously do like it more, would like it more for rosewood combination if anything but but oh, it's definitely interesting it's not something you see every day so I'm definitely curious to see what it looks like man I already confirmed my reason why I don't like the those type of um white shades like the white feathers where they attach by the metal clips because I can kind of hear them rattling a little bit or vibrating Cause it's nothing really that stops them from vibrating at mu well. So. It's not too noticeable, but it kind of is, but it's not a big deal. Now, despite the fan being new in the box, as you can see, the, um, boy, I'm not the best one. I'm, however, the fan wasn't really, didn't have all the packing there, so I mean, like this fan, and plus this fan with donated savers, which I already know, um, of how they sometimes had to handle the donations, it was, might have been tossed around a little bit, like the box moved around quite a bit, and by customers too, most likely. So I might have been like moved out of the box a few times, so and such. I'm not saying that the people that have savers don't handle the stuff carefully, they do, it's just. It's more the customers I know probably might move it around quite a bit. And again, it was missing the top portion of the, the um, styrofoam that to pack that's in the f box. So definitely had some damage to it as well. But yeah, you can kind of hear. The light sound. Light. <clears throat> it's definitely not a bad performer. Now I know these fans have a bad reputation 
due to them being Hampton Bays now. But mostly their reputation is more so on the blade arms drooping down, not so much on the performance. Now, I gotta say, just on the medium to me, it's definitely pushing in good breeze. I haven't really tested the Hampton Bay Huntington before that doesn't have somewhat droopy blades. It's the first time I'm testing one with the blades straight up like this, so I'm able to get a more accurate airflow on how it should to perform. And it's more because the blade arms on these that they use metal and them are very cheap, so there's that. Now, had they made them with better blade arms, they, I definitely won't, don't think that they would get such a bad reputation within the fan community. But, I mean, they probably still will because they're and a lot of people in the community like to hate on them, but I like them. It's something I grew up with, and the only time I really dislike a fan of it's just something... I'm not into mostly, but I'm, I am always in, into fans no matter, I'm always going to like a certain fan of, no matter the quality on it, though the quality and it being cheap will definitely make me like it less, but if it's something unique about it, I'll still like it. But, um, yeah, it's definitely not a bad air mover though, not for high speed. And yeah, you can hear the light sound even more. But just it from standing underneath while it's sped up, it definitely does push a good breeze. Now, I'm not sure why they decided to change from the Huntington 2 to Huntington 3 so quickly. Especially with such little difference, in all honesty. Plastic, you know, it's wrapped, held the blades wrapped up. Right, it's definitely kicking out a good breeze. So honestly, almost as it might be, it's probably about the same as powerful, just as powerful as the um Hampton Bay Carousel or something else. I don't really have so many Hampton Bay fans to compare to since I don't really. I haven't been collecting them as much as I'd like to. But, um... I definitely could say that the hand to make St. Clair moves more than this. I remember that being a, a very powerful fan for Hampton Bay. And I know that's one of the better ones. And the one where two definitely moves more than this, without a question. It's definitely an average air mover, without a question. It's not... It's bad as like a Walmart fan, for example, but it's not as good as a Hunter or a Casablanca, but or something else within like showroom quality. But for what these went for, I think they were like seventy bucks. They definitely would do, aren't a bad performer. It's just the boy downs would do downwards after some amount of time. However, something I've noticed is some of Huntington's twos and threes. Um, some of the boy downs would do more. Some of them wouldn't. Now, I, I think it really depends how often the fans use that the fans use a lot throughout the year, both summer, throughout all the four seasons, and I don't think it would droop down as much. Though, if they only use it in the spring and summertime, I feel like that, so when the blade arms will start drooping down a lot more due to the gravity pushing down on it. Well, and if the fans off for a while, like a good six months, for example, that gives gravity plenty of time to push the blades downwards. Which happens, what also happens with other 5200 fans too, not just the Huntington's, but since the blade arms on these are, are very weak as it is, then it gives it more of a chance for them to bend downwards. Now, I definitely wouldn't mind actually having one installed somewhere because just on the performance of it, it's actually not a bad air mover. But obviously, I prefer to have something better. But it's definitely not bad, bad air mover. It's definitely enough for me to use, installation wise. The only thing that would really prevent me from wanting to install it is more so the shade for making that sound, if anything. No, it has to be like in a space that it wouldn't bother me. Like maybe, like, maybe the living room, 
kitchen probably wouldn't I wouldn't mind it as much. But definitely not a bedroom. It would definitely have to be in a room where I'd use the water flow. So that way the weight on the juke downwards. So this is because I don't, well, I can't really say I don't remember hearing it from the one at the hair salon because, like I said, today I didn't have like, a very quiet environment and such. And what stinks though about that one was, had the, um, had I went there right before they moved out of that space to the new one, the owner told me that had I moved out, had I shown up right before they closed down, they actually would have gave me the fan. But, um, I wasn't anywhere to be found basically, so. Um, and they even had like, a person to give it to, to take it down, but um, they also they just didn't want to take it down without knowing if I actually wanted it or not. So that was the main issue. <laughs> and it seems because at that time I was going there you know, having breakfast on weekends every, almost every other week or every weekend. I haven't been into that diner for quite a bit since before we went to the Dominican this, this past summer. So it's been a good six months, unfortunately. Well, I've been very busy, so I haven't been able to go as much as I'd like. All right, shut off any spin down. It's almost like the sound though from the shades is like when people, like there's some glassware where if you rub the tip of it with your finger in circles, it's almost like it's making that type of sound when it runs. Um, I'm, I'm here to see how long the spin down on this fan is due to it being the first time it's being operated. Because sometimes I've, I've tested fans right out of the box and the spin down is pretty decent on it and sometimes they stop right away. Like, for example, the Dynasty Hugger, when I t retested that one, despite it being tested a few times, spin on and it was, like, not even a minute. So by the looks of this, it definitely seems like it's going to probably last over a minute. I mean, I definitely would like to find one of these in white. Because uh, my cousin used to, cousins used to have the Huntington one in white. You know, if you go, oh, man... I don't know. I just, I've always had a fan of for the Huntington twos, or pretzel looking f pretzel bracket fans of, of basically Huntingtons with three whites. I always like to look a bit, and I could get a Brookhurst, but I do like the Huntingtons more. I definitely wouldn't mind getting a Brookhurst. I just need to find one that's not retail price, like decent price, like almost basically a little bit less than like what they used to go for. Like they used to go for fifty to Brookhurst. Well, if they were still at that price, I would consider buying one new from the store, but I'm not going to pay so many dollars for a fan that's for the collection. Especially if it's not one I'm going to use that much, or if it's not one that's easy to find. If it's like a harder one to find, I wouldn't, that's a different story. But yeah, it definitely does seem to have a decent spin down to it. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. There is actually one literally right on my street, actually. I just forgot to mention that it's actually in brushed nickel. And I think the house right next to it actually has one in white. Um, or I think there's actually two to three of them that are in white now that I think about it. But, um, no, one of them actually could be a black one. It's been a while since so I've seen one of the other ones. Uh, I figured I'd show quickly the top side so I didn't show that in the beginning. All right. Now for low speed on reverse. Now this is, as you just saw, it does use the Quick Connect feature, and I'm not sure what it is with the collectors that don't like the Quick Connect feature. I actually personally like it. Definitely seems a lot of time installing it. It might just be that a lot of fans of the Quick Connect feature tend to be cheaper, but um, which is probably the case. But um, if I don't feel like it's definitely useful 
for like installing fans. Definitely would have been a good fan for me to test back in October. And that kind of does back of October 2019 since. Definitely has like an, a Halloween look for it being all black and such. I know I was a lot busier though at the time. Half a medium. But I definitely think the, the black and oak combination would definitely look more Halloween ish. But um, yeah, in all honesty, if I get my own place, this could be a fan I'd install somewhere where I, I don't need something that powerful. But I obviously would probably choose something else. But if anything, I'd install it more for childhood purposes if I wanted it in a specific spot. But again, the light sh shades making that noise is something that would probably deter me from actually installing it. But it definitely wouldn't be bad for for the performance. It definitely does move enough air for my comfort level. And I'm not really one that needs to be blown away. As long as it moves enough air to keep me comfortable, that's good enough. And this definitely does that. I mean, the carousel moved enough air for me. So, And I had that up in the living room for like a good seven, eight years. So, you know, If I was to install any Hamter Bay, I'd probably rather install it. The um carousel. Yeah, you can definitely hear the um sound a lot more. And wow, I am. This video is a lot longer than I intended it to be, so I do apologize. So, I'm actually just gonna skip right. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely put it on in the description when the fan testing actually starts. For I already know there's gonna be quite a bit of people who aren't gonna watch it. Watch the whole thing for that. So if you want to hear the story behind it. The long story behind it, definitely you can watch the whole thing. So, um, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos to come.